What's up guys, gals, and non-binary pals? My name's Naomi. Welcome to House of Miscellaneous. And today I have received some happy mail from Art Dot. I am not exactly sure what Art Dot has sent me, but I'm planning on opening it up and reviewing whatever is inside. Um, for those who are interested in making your own Art Dot purchase, I am an Art Dot affiliate. All you need to do is go to artdot.com and use the code NAO and the numbers one zero, so NAO10, and you can receive 10% off of your purchase. Now, uh, full disclosure, I do get a little commission for that, but all of it goes back to the channel. You do not have to use that coupon code if you don't want to, but I do um, highly recommend getting something from Art Dot because I super enjoy their um, products. Okay, forewarning, there may end up being a little kitty in this video, and I, I don't, wait, um, I meant actual, like, cat, my, my cat, my cat's over, over there, she's, yeah, that's, that's bacon, she's mlepping right now, so, we'll just, we'll leave her to it, anyways, <laughs> um, so I got some products from Art Dot, let me get this bad boy open and see what we have you know I used to just take my thumbnail and then um rip the these stringy type tapes and then I kept breaking my nails I'm like okay well we're not gonna do that because these are some nice nails I don't want to break them they they match Ajisai that's my current work in progress so we don't want to all right we got some paper oh oh okay I was needing another one of these, so I'm glad I received another. Ooh, a st okay, a storage case, and then looks to be maybe a light pad. Let's find out. Okay, we're gonna swing this bad boy around into our tabletop zone. Say bye, bacon. <laughs> okay, and now we are back in the tabletop zone. Now, don't let the fact that I am an Art Dot affiliate scare you off. They invited me to be an affiliate, and I said yes, because who doesn't love a little baby discount um, and commission if it happens? Um, I actually enjoy Art Dot products. Um, that's why I said yes in the first place. If I didn't at least somewhat believe in what they have to offer, I would have said no thank you. Um, but let's start with their storage, their little storage box. Now, I love this as a solution for storage personally. It is really inexpensive. Um, you don't have to spend a lot for storage. This has everything that you need in it for storage. If you like the shapes, it works out perfectly. It's literally a little carrying case. Inside of it, you do have some stickers so that if you need to make your own labels for the tops, you're able to do so. Uh-oh. Oh, it arrived broken. Well, that's a bummer. I'm going to contact and let them know that it did arrive broken, and I'm I'm certain that they'll replace it. Um, But that said, normally these are not broken. This is the first time Ever I've received one broken. Every time that I've ever gotten one, it has been in good shape. So, well, that's a bummer. But I love these containers. There are 64 storage containers. They are in the shape of like a Tic Tac container. These are really great for smaller kits that you might be working on. And in fact, it does work for larger kits as well. I have a Diamond Dots that is all kitted up in this, I'll show you. So you can see on mine here that I just put, huh. this is why we use washi tape underneath stickers, guys. I learned, I learned my lesson. But I put just a couple little stickers. It says DD eyes for diamond dot and eyes, um, because that's the piece that I'm working on. And then I just put on stickers that had the numbers because that's how diamond dots does their thing if I needed to put symbols or whatever. But I mean, they hold a good amount of diamonds. And if they don't, you see I have repeating numbers here. So ones and tens. I have three of them. 
Now, if you have ones that have large amounts, three bags, four bags of diamonds, I might not recommend this maybe in particular, but something that has anywhere from 25 to 45 colors usually works okay in one of these. Um, in fact, I believe I also have story time is all in just one of these containers. So they work out really well for that. The thing that I do like about them is, you know, when you're ready to dump out your diamonds, you just literally flip open the top. You're ready to pour them out. Close it on up. Snaps closed. Um, now, pouring back into this container. Obviously, that small hole there is not very conducive for pouring diamonds from a funnel into it. Now, if you've got a small like old school funnel, maybe it's okay. Um, even the ones from Diamond Art Club are big for this. So typically you're gonna pull the top off of it and then pour into there. The only thing that I have found that can become an issue is with repeated um, pulling like that or wiggling back and forth and pulling like that because sometimes they do get a little wedged in there. After repeated stress on this particular clip piece, they can break. So what I've done in the past is if a top breaks and I am left with an open container, I'll then use that last one as like trash drills. I'll just pop it into there whenever I find one. But I really, really enjoy this storage container. It is economical as far as price is concerned. And it is a really good storage solution. I'm a little bummed. It arrived broken. Um, the other thing is when you close the case, because the plastic's a little flimsy-ish, you put the clip down and then you're going to pull this part like outward and it'll lock it in place. I'll show you with this other one because they don't like to, they don't like to lock necessarily, but um, when you're ready to lock it up, it will sometimes just lock up on its own, but occasionally you have to just give this this little handle a tug and it'll it'll clip it into place fully. But some things to look out for, I would say for cost, for um, the ease of use, I would say out of five, I would give this product a four out of five. It is definitely viable, inexpensive storage um, that gets the job done. And I have about six of these containers that I absolutely love using. So I'm going to give it a four out of five as far as price, usefulness, all the things. Although this particular one I'm not so happy with because of the broken clip on the front. But I'll contact her with that. No big deal. Next thing I want to look at here, I'm, I'm holding off on this storage case because I'm the most excited about that. Um, is, <clears throat> excuse me, this light board. I have a light board. It's from Kaz Kazanti. Kazanti. It is a, I believe an A, maybe an A2. I don't know. I don't know. It has 29 inches along the top ruler and 20, or no, I'm sorry, centimeters. 29 centimeters along the top and 22 centimeters along the side. This thing shorted out on me. And any time that I was turning it on, it would like flicker and flicker and flicker. So it was time to replace this thing anyways. I only had that for a uh, sparse, maybe eight months, eight months of use I got out of that. So that kind of sucks. But let's find out what the art dot one looks like. And I don't know what size they have sent me. So let us find out. I like that art dot. Life is more fun when you paint by diamond as an artist. Sometimes you can tell when a company's language is, uh, first language is not English, but that's okay. Oh, oh, we got goodies in here, guys. I love these things. I Love these when I'm working on rounds. Even working on squares, just to get your lines straight. I love these. Having one, having an extra, always good. All right, so it looks like it is using a C. Oh, that's good. Because the last one that I had, it used a special type of um, 
plug in it was the old old droid chargers with like the yeah it was not very good we got some clips okay i'm assuming that's to clip your canvas down to the light board itself this would be the legs for it which let me get this up look at you guys i got storage this is really cool okay so I don't think I will use it for storage necessarily for diamonds. Maybe if I had, like, I wanted to um, go on a trip and just wanted to take a few things, maybe do a few colors or something. I don't, I don't know. But I like that it's all in one piece. They're small. So each are connected to each other. They're pretty easy to open. Oh, maybe not that one. Yeah, they're not too bad to open. Wow, okay. I always find uses for these sorts of things, guys. I I will find a use for it. Or it'll end up as a giveaway to somebody that I think might be able to use it. I'm going to clips together really nicely. That's so cool. Okay, okay. And this looks to be about the same size as the one that I just had. So... Does it tell me? It just says LED light tracing board. Simple operation. All right. I both like and dislike this type of like styrofoamish paper. I don't like it when it rubs against things. It hurts my ears. Wow. Got the art dot brand on it. I was just looking to make sure we didn't have any warping or anything like that. All right, should I plug it in and see how it does? Let's let's do that. I'm going to pause you, and we're going to plug it in. One thing I will quick note is that it did not come with a base for the charger, so it just has the USB, so either you connect it to your computer if it's nearby, or hopefully you have one of those um, fancy um, bus bars that has the USB built into it, but yeah, that. Be right back. Okay, so I have it plugged in. Um, I will note that it is a little bit wiggly, not terrible. Um, I would think that if it's laying flat, it's not like immediately going to pull out. You got to give it a little bit of go before it'll actually pull out of there. It's just a little wiggly back and forth. Let's turn it on and see what it does. Okay, low setting, medium setting. Wow, that's bright, you guys. Now, will it let me adjust it holding down the button? No. You actually have to tap it in order to turn it lower and higher. Wow. I like it. I like it, and I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it because, like I said, my other one is shorted out. It's no longer working. And I do like... Now, the one thing I've never liked about a light board ever is the fact that this button is so, t like, sensitive. I almost said tender. <laughs> it's so sensitive. So, even if you're just, like, resting a hand on your, on your, um, canvas and you accidentally touch it with your arm and then it's, like, all of a sudden it's going bananas. Yeah, I never really liked that. But that's every light board's fault, not just this one. Um, so it does come with... A stand so that if you did want to um, see if I can figure this out too um, if you did want to place your canvas onto this bad boy here you could um, it just you basically put the metal bars into the holes that exist on the plastic piece here and then you can telescope it it has sort of give in the in the plastic here so that if you wanted to work a canvas on bump and stuff if you did want to work a canvas on an angle you could do so and it will stay um which is handy for those people who do want to give an angle or if you want to go a little wider you can go a little wider with it um but yeah it just it rests on this guy here and you can then, once you have it on, bumping stuff, once you have it on here, you can clip your canvas to it 
and then you can work on your painting upright. Not something that I normally do, but might give it a try sometime. Maybe it will uh, help out with some of the carpal tunnel issues, but let me get this out of the way and we're going to get into the storage case. All right, now the piece that I am honestly the most excited for, it's a 60 jar storage case with containers. Um, support at art.com. That's what I've got to contact about my little broken container. Um, it says it has one portable case, 60 jars, three diamond painting pens, three diamond painting pens, eight wax, okay, one diamond painting straightener, case specification, in case you are wondering, it is 12.2 by 7.87 by 2.95 inches, so 12, oh my gosh, oh I love the, I love the design, look at that squirrel, and a moose, and a bear, and a bunny, and a bee, owl oh my gosh and a fox oh you guys i really really like this case oh that is so cute really sturdy okay so 12.2 inches from side to side i'm assuming that is what this measurement will be let's find out Yes, 12.2 from this side to this side, and then 7.87 here, and then 2.95 upright, like this. Um, the jar diameters, let's get into this bad boy here. Ooh, really sturdy zipper. I like that. The handle on it is a really nice, sturdy handle. I enjoy that. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Now, it says jar spe specification. The lid is 0.9 inches. And then the jar height is 1.9 inches. Now, these are not... Oh, they are screw-on. Okay. It didn't look like it was screw-on. It looked like it was just going to go on. Okay. That's that's not a bad size. They're all the same. They're all uniform. Each one is all the same size. We have some goodies up here. Some delicious Tic Tacs. Just kidding. Don't eat that. Throw that away. That's activated carbon. Tic Tacs. A funnel. Okay, guys, I'm actually super excited about the funnel. I don't know if I'll really use too much of it, but collapsible funnel. I like that. I do not have any of these. No funnels. Um, And I've wanted one, so there's that. I like that. I like that. Just rubber. Collapsible. Kind of handy. Kind of handy. Okay. You got a mesh dealy here it's got a little give in this thing here wow look at the size of that tray okay i mean for somebody who's just starting out this is actually a really comprehensive kit for storage um you've got a whole bag of baggies here you've got your little green tray two of them you got a whole mess of wax Whoop. you have a whole mess of wax here and you've got four styluses, each with their own multi-placer tool on the top of them. No squishies, but four pens. Looks like a two-placer, two four-placers, and a seven, maybe. I don't really care for this style of multi-placer, personally, just because it's such a wide mouth on those. Um, when you compare those against, like, the Diamond Art Club thin plastic ones that you receive in their cases... Um, it, it is a wider mouth on it, but who doesn't love a wide mouth? Um, you got two green trays, but you can see for size reference, you can almost fit two of these inside of this larger one. It's fairly sturdy. It's got good ridges inside of it. Now the, the spout on this is actually quite small. So when you're talking about those Tic Tac containers, right? My biggest gripe was how you couldn't fit a funnel into there. 
Now, they've been wise and they make it so that their funnels do fit in there. So that is actually pretty slick. I, I really enjoy that. And actually, if you wanted to, you know, once you've got all of your items out of the uh, top here, you could take this carrying... Goodbye, stylus. You could take this carrying case and you could probably... Let's see, can you fit it right in? Hmm, okay, but will it close? That's the real question. Let's find out, let's find out. No, it would not close. Well, it was a good idea anyways. So we've, we're skipping that idea. All right, so funnel. You got four styluses. We've got another straightening tool. I'm telling you guys, these things are really handy for getting your diamond straight. Your two green trays, your one large white tray, some very flimsy plastic tweezers. Honestly, these are not good. I, I even for people who use tweezers to to pick up their diamonds, I don't know a single person who's like these things are awesome. They're not awesome. Uh, some more stickers, just in case you need for the tops of these. Although I would I would say a little bit of a critique maybe would be. The size of a sticker sheet that you get is tiny, whereas with the smaller 64 case, you get this large sheet of stickers. I would expect to see a sticker sheet like this inside of this case here. So I don't know that Art Dot really cares about my opinion necessarily, but if that, that would be my recommendation, would be that this sticker sheet makes more sense in a case this size. Um, I'm not saying to replace this into the other, but I, you know what, just get rid of these all together. That's not enough stickers. Get this guy into this case. Um, a big old plastic bag for your stuff. Yeah. And then these waxes and actually that's not bad wax. I mean, it, yes, it is, it is pretty kind of transparent, but it is not nearly as light as some of the ones I've seen. Um, Okay, so let me just tuck these into our little cubby here on the side. I want to look at these. So the whole thing can come out. Uh, the case itself is very sturdy, very well built, well made. Um, it is sort of felted on the insides. I enjoy that. You can see that there are are screws for the handle. So the handle is really securely fastened in there. I really enjoy that. Um, this is just basically like a styrofoam piece. You can see here along this edge that it is just styrofoam. It is unfinished, uh, which is okay. I mean, most likely you're not gonna be taking, maybe you're taking this out, I don't know, to set it out on a table or whatever so that it's not, inside of this case because you know you need a certain amount of space whatever so maybe you do take the whole thing out um i i guess you could do that for sure uh there there's some you know like stuff from the styrofoam plastic mostly uh along the edges there that would i would want to clean up if i had this just sitting outside of the case for viewing or whatever um, but really very serviceable, thick, um, and I, I really enjoy it. I mean, and you can see that they're snug inside of that thing. They're not coming out of this styrofoam. So I don't have to worry about dropping the whole thing and then there's bottles everywhere. So really, really, really like that. Now, one thing I will say is with these types of pockets... I wish that this had a zipper along the top of it or that there was another piece and it zipped open because oftentimes I've had contents with this type of uh, um, a pocket in it will fly out of here and I don't really care for that so much. But um, all in all, really not a bad, not a bad buy for a person. Um, price point... Now, this particular carrying case with the 60 containers is $22.99 on their site. Again, if you use my, my code, NAO10, you will save 10% off of that. 
um, you're already saving, according to their site, 30% off of their normal uh, charge. They do come in five different styles for the fabric on the outside. I will, uh, I'll pop those up on the screen so you can see what they are. But really, for $22.99, that's quite a bit on offer to you. You get all 60 of these. You get a very sturdy, very nice case. You get a pretty much if you're a if you're a starting out new fresh diamond painter, you're getting everything you need in this case um, to to make it worth it to you. Plus your choice of a design. I mean, I, honestly, I'm gonna give this one five stars. I think it is economical. I think it is uh, very useful. I'm I'm going to get some use out of it. Uh, I am noticing one little notice, though. I am noticing that some of these containers are, like, unscrewed a little bit. And I'm not sure if that's just from being not screwed in all the way. So maybe that's something to watch for. I'm not sure. But, I mean, I'll keep an eye. I think it's going to be okay. But, honestly, I a few nitpicky things, truly... Like with the zippered thing here or, you know, I, nitpick, nitpick stuff, nitpick stuff completely. I think that this is absolutely a awesome, awesome option. And not only that, but they do offer larger versions of this. So you can get either 60 containers, 120 containers, 240 containers or 420 containers you guys like you could you could literally kit up five things in that 420 now that is obviously going to range in prices so this being $22.99 at their smallest size available for this type of case to 420 which is like right up around $69.99 the $70 mark which for like essentially what would be five containers really nice containers for 70 bucks i mean i i can't it that's a little high but not not really not really not for all that's offered to you so definitely highly recommend the portable case now the light board let me give you a little bit more information on that since i did just sort of skippy skip on over it now, I did have to measure just to see what exact size this was since it didn't have the, you know, measurements on it. This is an A4, which is $12.99. Very, very good pricing for a light board. They do have other light boards listed on their website. Uh, an A2, it comes with everything that I've shown you plus some extra things, a much sturdier stand, some more case um storage cases than the little container that I had. Uh, that is $59.99. Uh, then there's the A3, which again offers even more. Um, it's very large. Oh, I'm sorry, the A3 is $29.99. The A2, pardon me, is $59.99. That has even more. And then the A1, which is very, very big. <clears throat> that one is $109 and comes with a lot of bells and whistles as well. Now, for somebody who's just getting one to work on the pieces that they currently have, there is nothing wrong with this A4. It will work just fine. You saw the bells and whistles that it came with for $12.99. I mean... It, I have to wait and see how it does for lighting. And if it lasts longer than eight months, it's already beating out my other cheap one that I found. Um, so I'm going to say that I, I, th I think it's going to be all right. And I will definitely give this at least, we'll go with four stars just because I don't know yet what the light's going to do and how long the light's going to last. But I mean, I'd give it five stars. I just don't know about how well the light's going to work. So We'll, we'll get there, I guess. But all in all, you guys, I'm very satisfied with my little haul of things today from Art Dot. I do want to say thank you to Art Dot for sending these along to me. Um, I will be contacting you about my little broken clippy here. But, I mean, other than that, I am, I'm really satisfied with what I was sent. Um, this especially, you guys, I'm so excited. It's so cute. Um, 
But otherwise, if you'd like to go place an order over on Art Dot's website, feel free to use my affiliate code or any other coupon code you might find on the internet if you don't want to use mine. That's totally okay. You don't have to do that. But definitely go do some Art Dot shopping. I know I have something else coming from them in the mail. I just don't know when it is going to arrive. And that is uh, some of their diamond painting stuff. Uh, canvas and some, I believe there's some stickers in there. So I'm super excited about that. But otherwise, go do some art dot shopping, you guys. I, I'm really liking what they have to offer. Uh, until next time, we will see you again. I hope that wherever you are in this great, big, beautiful world, that you are having a wonderful morning, evening, or afternoon. As always, if you enjoyed this, please give me a like down below. Comment if you like commenting on things. Subscribe if you want to see more content about diamond painting things from me. All right, you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.